Today's video is how to set up a bind and fly airplane with the new AR631 receiver. So let's get started. In this video I'm going to use a bind and fly template to set up our receiver. And also you use forward programming to assign a safe select switch. The way they do this is setting up three flight modes which we'll get into in just a moment. So let's go ahead and use a template for today. We'll push enter. Scroll down to system setup. Go to model select. Add new bind and fly. And then you want to let it populate all the templates, which is when the small little bar on the right stops going up. This lets you know that they're all loaded. You can go ahead and start, and if you don't wait for that to be done, it's going to reset you to the top of the menu. So wait just a moment for everything to populate. We're going to scroll down to the E-flat planes. Today, we're going to use the E-flat F-16 Thunderbirds. Scroll down to the template, push enter, then we'll push import. Now we have our template selected and we can move on to binding the transmitter and the receiver together. Once we've done that, we will go into forward programming and set up our three flight modes, which allows AS3X off, AS3X on, and save select. We will also assign a switch in that process. We'll push enter, we're gonna scroll down and cover bind. I'm gonna power up the system. powered up now I'm going to hold the button on the receiver it will start flashing to let you know the receiver is in bind mode go to yes Binding. DSMX 22 Bind complete. once the light stops you will hear the ESC beep on how many cells so if it's four cells it will beep four times and then you know it's armed and then on the screen it says auto configure. Now we need to go down to forward programming. So we go into forward programming. All you have is gyro settings on the bind and fly model. You have safe select. Push enter. You will notice that it says safe select channel on auxiliary 2. So what we need to do is we need to go in our channel assign and assign the channel or the switch that we want to coordinate with turning the flight modes from one, two, and three. So we will back up. We go down to system setup. Yes. Go to channel assign. Scroll down to auxiliary two. There's where we set the switch that we want for our three flight modes on safe select, AS3X on, and AS3X off. I'm going to use the C switch, so I'll push enter, scroll over to C. Now we go back. Now we go into forward programming. Push enter, scroll down to forward programming. And something you want to make a note of, you have to power up the transmitter and the receiver and have them bound together to adjust the forward programming menu. If you're just trying to power on the radio and find forward programming, it won't actually show up because it has to be connected to a receiver. Go into gyro settings, safe select. You have three flight modes, flight mode one, two, and three. Flight mode three is AS3X and safe are both off. Flight mode two is AS3X on with safe off. And then you notice when I push it to the, what should be flight mode one position, it doesn't change. That's because we have safe select disabled. That's the default order for these flight modes is three is both off, two is AS3X on, one is AS3X and safe select on. So when we go down here to the bottom, 
turn safe select on now you see we've got flight mode one safe select is on so if you want to use safe select you enable it if you don't just leave it disabled and you'll have where you can turn AS3X on and off. You can also change it up where you can have flight mode 2 with AS3X off and flight mode 3 with AS3X on. So you can change the switch position when you have AS3X on or off. I hope y'all learned something new today or you enjoyed the video. If you did, either one, like the video. If you want to see future videos, subscribe to the channel while you're here. I appreciate y'all watching, and I'll see you on the next one.